hey girls so today I'm bringing you another makeup tutorial and this one is using the Naked 2 by Urban Decay this one is also inspired by the famous Kim Kardashian if you can't already tell by the title of this video so I was inspired by this look uh, through Pinterest because I was looking at makeup photos and I came across this one of her and I completely fell in love with it and I was as I was examining the picture I realized that I do have some makeup that is similar to what she was wearing so I thought it was perfect and I just wanted to go for it and try my best to recreate it so if you are interested in finding out how you can also get this Kim Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial then just go ahead and keep on watching and please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and leave your comments down below letting me know your feedback on this video, if you liked it or not, what you didn't like about it, what you did, and any requests if you have anything that you would like to see on my channel, please let me know. Your feedback really means a lot to me and I think that's pretty much it for now. I will see you on my next video. Bye! Starting with this eyeshadow primer, and this is Urban Decay Eden, and this is going to help the eyeshadow colors appear more vibrantly and just stick on my eyelids all day. And then I'm taking this NYX eyeshadow pencil in the shade Mocha, and it's a nice base to start off with for the bronzy eyeshadow that I'm going to be placing all over my lid. Taking the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay, I'm going to take the shade Chopper and I'm going to pat that all over my eyelid. I'm going to take the color Tease with a fluffy brush and apply that all over the crease and a little past my crease as well. Taking a much smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to take T's again and just kind of drag that shade towards the inner part of my eyelid. With the color Snake Bite, I'm going to use this and apply it at the outer corner of my eye to help smoke out the look. I'm mixing Foxy and Booty Call to create the perfect highlighting shade that I want and I'm going to place this on the bottom of my eyebrow and this is going to go on the inner tear duct as well. Notice me going in with my fluffy brush every once in a while and this is just to make sure that there is no harsh lines. And in this scene, I was totally out of frame doing my cat eye. It's kind of hard for me to do it in the position I was in. And here I'm mixing Chopper and Snake Bite, and I'm gonna smoke that out on the bottom lash line. And here I'm just taking Chopper only and applying that towards the inner part of my bottom lash line. And there goes the Booty Call and Foxy on the inner chair deck. You want to be really generous with the mascara, especially on your bottom lash line because Kim has these really, really long bottom lashes, so you want to make your lashes as long as you can. And then I'm taking this Rimmel London Scandal Eyes eyeshadow stick. I use it as an eyeliner for my waterline because it's a really nice brown coppery shade. And I looked at the picture of Kim and she kind of has like a bronzy eyeliner going on. These are the Demi Wispies and... I'm going to take my glue here. I don't really wear false lashes, but I really had to for this look because it really just tied it all together. And like I said, Kim has those really long lashes, so I needed to have the full effect. I'm lining my waterline with my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. I'm tight lining 
so my eyelash line could look more fuller and then I'm going to contour my face contouring my nose using the elf contour brush and I'm using the fit me foundation stick in the shade cappuccino for this and then I will also contour my cheekbones to make them look nice and chiseled like Kim Kardashian always does To make your contouring look as natural as possible, you want to make sure you blend, blend, blend. That is the key with contouring. And I'm taking this e.l.f. small stipple brush, which works perfectly for the cream contour and the cream blushes that you put on your face. So I highly recommend this brush. And yeah, I'm pretty much just blending out any harsh lines. I'm setting my contouring with a bronzer and you can do this with any bronzer of your choice. For my blush, I'm going to take the Milani in Bellissimo Bronze and I use this blush all the time. It's my favorite. It's such a nice corally color and it goes perfect with this look. For my lips, I'm taking the Rimmel London Lip Liner in the color Natural. And just to make my lips look more fuller and then I'm going to take the shade 945 in Stormy Sahara I think that is the name and this is the Maybelline color sensational line in the buffs collection and this color is perfect because it's very similar to the lip color that Kim is wearing it's kind of like a peachy brown and to top it all off and make it even more perfect to or more you know near to the color that she's wearing is this coral craze by whitening lightning and it just I can't believe how amazing it matched to the color of lips that she had on the final touch-ups on my cupid bow, some highlight, and down the bridge of my nose, and that is all.